for the last week or so, we've been hanging out in areas such as Silverthorne, Dillon, and most recently, Winter Park, getting some early season turns in. With new terrain opening up at Keystone Resort, in episode 56, we head out to the mountain to check out Durkham's Dash and enjoy our eighth day on ski. Good morning, so welcome to another episode of season three. Today is a busy day. Um, it is Wednesday. We have a few things going on. One, um, Keystone is opening up new terrain, some new runs. So we are going to go check out the uh, the new stuff they got going on. Number two, we have to shower. So I'm going to go to the rec center and take a shower. Then three, um, Wednesdays are our weekly live stream. So we got to get the live stream set up tonight. I'm going to hang out with you guys for about two hours. Honestly, my most favorite part of the week. So we're already running late this morning. So we're going to get a move on, head out to Keystone. Beautiful day. Should be another good one. I decided to step up the uh, breakfast game a little bit this morning. I added ham and the eggs and I also put in some cheese. I am a little bit lactose intolerant, so I don't know how well this is gonna, how good of an idea this is. I, Jesus. Are we all still there? Holy, that's why these Joby Gorilla tripods, dude, are like, it's a love-hate relationship. And you're falling again. What was I saying? I'm lactose intolerant. I try to watch my cheese intake. So yeah, roast me on that one. Goodbye. So I mentioned it yesterday when I was going up the gondola that it looked like the run underneath the gondola was getting prepared to open. So I think I think that is what they are opening up today. So I believe you can now ski essentially from the top of the lifts um, all the way down to the base area, which will be nice. So the long run just got a little bit longer. I also talked to my dad, Joe, yesterday for about an hour about boots. I feel like my 110s are just too soft. So I'm gonna try to tighten them up a bit more today and see if that helps. But when I'm making those hard GS-like turns, and I say that very loosely, <laughs> I almost feel like I'm like touching the front of my toe with my shin. So I don't know if a 120 um, might be a little bit better of a flex, but I just got these boots last year. I'm gonna start by just actually tightening them. I feel like I never tighten my boots. So that might be a help. I feel good today, guys. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was the prevalone in my eggs. I have no idea, but this time I was feeling a little bit lethargic today. I'm like, I'm like ready to go. You were always taking time, baby. Playing with you. I was calling out your name. Put my eyes on the wall. You were running like a ghost from me. You were running from it all. You got me waiting. I'm on fire. You got me waiting. Ice camera. Thanks, dude. Oh, shit. Lucas? Go for it. Thanks, Go man. for it. Have a good one. <laughs> All right, squad. Looks like we have another chair open today. Looks like the gondola's even on hold. The Summit Express. So, this will be exciting. New chair, new run. And it's a beautiful day. Yeah, Summit Express. Looks like it's like a six person. What's up, guys? What kind of stuff do you film? I have a YouTube channel. I live in a van and see you. Nice. So, see ya. I think that was a pretty accurate representation. Live in a van and ski. You've been playing my mind lately. It is extra beautiful in the morning time here because the way the lights behind us just hits these peaks perfectly. It's so picturesque. It is very windy today. So we'll see how that fares. But uh, the goal is to check out the new terrain, the new run. But, oh man, the snow is nice. Oh, I see. Oh, let's go. This feels so good. It's like an instant dopamine hit. Like right to my veins. So beautiful, look at that. Just look at it. Feeling good, we're feeling alright, yeah. 
later tonight. Ooh, baby. I feel good. You guys also just just be heads up over knolls like this. Like there's no reason to just go flying over this stuff. But you can do what you want. I'm feeling a little stiff today. Alright? I'm like a piston. I gotta get some lube going. I gotta get bouncing. I gotta get warmed up. And then we'll be good. Right side of the lower 
run right now is so good. It's still quarter ride. I think people are kind of sleeping on the rope line right there. But dude, that's the first time I think I had some corduroy. Hearing that sound, dude, it's like music to my ears. So nice. How you doing? Uh, good. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. You do? Yeah. What's your name? I'm Lucas. Lucas? Yeah. I'm John. John. My mom, so we came here today. Uh, it's my like first time snowboarding down here. Hell yeah. The night before, she sent me one of your YouTube videos. Really? Yeah. That's you mind awesome. if I get a picture with yeah, you? Yeah, dude. Please. Dude, how, how you how you doing? Good, man. Just kind of enough for the day. Thank you, dude. I feel like once you start getting around that day seven, I don't know, day five, you really start to get your edges back. So that's why I stressed before, like really taking literally 10 days before you really start to be aggressive just to make sure you have everything underneath you. And I know not everyone has that ability to ski that many days in a year, but if you can, I think it is worth it. And that's why I also love the early season skiing because I feel like you, you kind of progress with how the mountain opens. So like, for example, you have one run open and you're kind of at like your weakest point. As I start to open terrain, you get stronger and stronger. So that's why I think skiing early season is definitely worth it because by the time the stuff is actually here, you're already you know, kind of on your edge and, and ready to go. So for some reason they closed that lift down, some of the express, which is kind of a bummer. So now we all got to go to the gondola, but thou shall not complain whilst up in the mountains. back out to the Silverthorne Rec Center. I'm gonna take a shower and they do a shower only pass, I think for five bucks rather than having to pay 14 for a daily, um, daily pass. So I think the last time I showered was probably three days ago. So I think once every three days is a pretty good number. Can I get a shower pass? Oh, for sure. Uh, Five bucks. What are we filming? I just have a YouTube vlog. Nice. Just do us a favor, not in the locker rooms. I guess that's a given. Yeah. 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 Other than that, yeah, have at it. out to the same place that I live streamed last time because it worked so I'm hoping everything kind of goes the same the thing with Starlink is that it needs to have a clear view of the sky so if you can kind of get elevated a little bit it seems to be helpful and here um, even though there are trees they are below below the peripheral of the Starlink which tends to shoot like I forgot what the angle is hundred something degrees up so we have a nice clear night tonight so I got to get this the satellite up and then uh, really set up all the cameras inside for the actual stream. The setup tonight is my Canon EOS R, which is what I use for live streaming on a 24 mil 1.4 lens. I have my Blue Yeti mic, the computer here, and then I will hardwire the battery into the wall so the, the battery the camera doesn't die midstream and then really the last touch here are my string lights just had a little bit more ambience and so that's literally the stream setup last time it worked pretty well the only thing is that it is a big power suck on my van um and so not the most efficient thing and so I'm trying to upgrade my battery bank, get a little bit more capacity out of here. But that is how I'm able to maintain somewhat good stream quality. And hopefully the Starlink performs well tonight. Thank you to everyone who stopped by the live stream and hung out for a few hours. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought of it, and I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Take it easy, fam. Peace out.